Merry Christmas. It is the first Sunday after Christmas, and it is a part of the Christmas season. It is even a part of the 12 days of Christmas, if you follow that particular tradition. So it may seem a little out of place, but it is indeed Christmas today, as it was just a few days ago. So again, welcome to worship. Welcome to worship for all of those that are listening in or seeing us on TV or on Facebook and YouTube. This is the cooperative service that brings together the congregations from Beckville and First Cosmos and Trinity and First here in town, as well as Zion. Thank you to all of the musicians, vocalists, tech folks that are behind the scenes, and my colleagues for again bringing this worship service to you. Lots of possibilities. I'm not even going to try and go through the whole list like I did last time that I was before you about possibilities for worship and for study. Um, the list is long. Check with your congregations if you're interested. Check with other congregations in the area um, if there's something that sounds good that would be a good fit for you. Later on this morning, Zion has an important congregational meeting, and I'm required, if I'm here, to make this announcement according to our Constitution. Our president, Ben Savakul, with the unanimous support of Zion's executive committee, has called a special congregational meeting to be held later this morning at 10 o'clock in Zion's parking lot. This is being held with the express purpose of voting to approve Zion's community nutrition and connectivity project as has been previously presented. So look forward to having the Zion folks at Zion in just a little bit. So it is the tradition of this congregation in which you see us today, this church, to have a service of health and wholeness, to both close out their year and to begin the new year. And we join in that good tradition. And we begin with these words. A service of healing is an expression in worship of the church's ministry of healing. This service follows early Christian traditions of meeting together for sharing scripture, prayers, and anointing for those who are in need of healing. We hope you will find hope, trust, comfort, and God's presence as you worship. So we begin our worship in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And also with you. Our first reading is from Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31. But those who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. We began our healing and wholeness litany. God, our creator, you call forth eagles to bend wings in adoration. But there are times in life when we are unable to appreciate the gift of your creation in this world or in ourselves. Lord, have mercy. Christ, our Savior, sometimes you feel unable to walk with you. We grow faint and exhausted with life. Sometimes we want to give up. Lord, have mercy. Spirit of God, when we are weary and tired, unable to soar in the sky of life, we can look only to you for healing and renewed energy. Lord, have mercy. God of grace, we may not wish to follow in your steps or be open to your lead. We separate ourselves from your support and healing. Forgive us for all we have done or left undone. All we is nailed to the cross and I
Our gospel reading tonight comes from Mark, the second chapter. When he returned to Capernaum after some days, it was reported that he was at home. So many gathered around there that there was no longer room for them, not even in front of the door. And he was speaking the word to them. Then some people came, bringing him a paralyzed man, carried by four of them. And when they could not bring him to Jesus because of the crowd, they removed the roof above him, and after having dug through it, they let down the mat on which the paralytic lay. When, they saw their, when he saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, Son, your sins are forgiven. Now some of them, the scribes, were sitting there, questioning in their heart, Why does this fellow speak in this way? It is blasphemy. Who can forgive sin but God alone? At once, Jesus perceived in his spirit that they were discussing these questions among themselves. And he said to them, why do you raise such questions in your hearts? Which is easier to say to the paralytic, your sins are forgiven, or to say, stand up and take your mat and walk? But so that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins, he said to the paralytic, I say to you, stand up, take your mat, and go to your home. He stood up and immediately took the mat and went out before the, all of them, so that they were amazed and glorified God, saying, We have never seen anything like this. The gospel of our Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. So, this is a, a wonderful story of healing and of faith, faith of friends. And, and healing of a friend, and a healing that, that Jesus performs for all of these disciples and these Pharisees and these followers. And yet, to us, I think I have not yet seen anyone paralyzed come to our church and rip open the roof, lay, lower down in, and then get up and walk after I've healed. That has not yet happened. We have plenty of room. Don't tear the roof off. If you want to come in, just come right in. Now, I'm not saying that healings don't happen and Jesus shows us many miracles. He shows us so many miracles. But what I want us to think about in this reading is what it is that Jesus says to this man. And he says to him, your sins are forgiven. Sins are forgiven. When God sent his son into the world, what is it that he said? In John, the third, uh, third chapter of John, the 17th verse, God said, according to John 3, 17, for God, indeed God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. Jesus' role here is to save the world, to re reconnect that broken, separated relationship that we have as humans broken. And in our time of healing, and our laying on of hands, and in our prayers, we're going to hear words that give that give us hope in what God can and has done for us already. We're going to feel that healing in the message of God, not from Pastors Tom, Pastor Mindy, or Pastor Troy, or from any of us, from Sarah, or, or from our wonderful pianist, Carol. We aren't the healer. We are the servants, the messengers that come to you. The four friends bringing their 
friend who's paralyzed for healing, don't do anything but trust in God. And God brings that healing in the best way that God sees for that person. And in a healing service, we bring the word of God into the service, trusting in God for his actions to bring healing. And in a moment, we're going to invite representatives from our community. Uh, and it's not going to be a lot of people, but it's going to be a lot of people represented. And we're going to lay on hands, and we're going to invite you at home to do the same thing. We're going to show you and teach you how to lay on hands and hear the words of the prayer at the same time. And so I want you to, to be preparing to hear those words and to know that when we do feel a healing, it's glorify, glory going to God for God's actions, our faithfulness in understanding, but it's God's actions that does the healing. We are the recipients of God's healing in a broken world, in a time of darkness. We need God more than ever. And today, we're bringing our whole world to prayer for God's healing, and we will give the glory to God. Amen. Let us pray. Healing Father, you sent Jesus, your Son, to heal the world of sin and separation. Repair the relationship of your creation and heal the world in which we live. Our hope is in the power of your word and promise. Heal all who come, all who call on you in Jesus' name. Amen.
Let us confess our faith together using the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. We thank you for your continued generosity, and we take this time for you to prepare your offerings, whether you give them in person, or you mail them to your churches, or you give online at any of the churches. All of those ways are welcome and appreciated. So we pray. Gracious God, you came to us as one unknown, bringing joy and salvation to the earth. Nourish us at your banquet table, that with all who welcome your birth, we may proclaim your grace and your peace, revealed in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. Let us share that peace safely with each other. We prepare for our great Thanksgiving together. I invite you to gather your communion supplies at home where you are and gather bread or crackers, um, wine or juice, whatever you may have close in close proximity. In the night in which he is betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread. He gave thanks and broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. Again, after supper, he took the cup, gave thanks, and gave it for all to drink, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sins. Do this for the remembrance of me. Gathered into one, we pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. These are the gifts of God for the people of God. All who are hungry for God's love and mercy are welcome to this table of forgiveness. Feel free to serve one another at home, or if you happen to be an indiv individual, I will give you those words right now. The body of Christ given for you, the blood of Christ shed for you.
and we pray. We give you thanks, gracious God, that you have once again fed us from your very self with the body and blood of Christ. Through this mystery, send us forth to proclaim your promise to a world in need. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Amen. And we pray. Lord, our God, we are in need of your healing. Our minds and bodies are afflicted. You said to Israel, I am your healer. And Israel was restored. Renew, Renew us now, now and, and make, make us whole in mind and body, heart and soul. O oh Christ, your earthly ministry touched the lives of people in their entirety. You healed the sick. You raised the dead. We give thanks for all agencies that provide health care. We pray for social ministry organizations that carry on your healing ministry in our day. Raise, Raise us, dear, dear Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ, we pray, to life, life and health, for work, work and play. play. Spirit of life, you give us faith and wisdom to trust you and love others. Help us care for our bodies and minds. We give thanks for people whose calling in life is to assist those in need of healing or health care. Strengthen for service all those who are in the healing arts and sciences. Encourage those who healing brings that, that we with them your, them your praise might sing. sing. Triune God, you suffer all who long for health and wholeness but cannot afford care, and you call for justice. Grant that our society may create a just system of health care so that all your children may rejoice in your healing. We wait your liberating deed to signal hope and set us free. So at this time, uh, we're going to invite you at home to gather around whoever would like to represent your family for healing. Uh, put them maybe in the center of the space. We're going to invite Sarah Miller, Officer Miller, to come forward. She's going to represent for us all of the, all of the uh, healthcare field, all of the service industry in this country, in our community, in our state, and in our country. She'll be representing not just the law enforcement, but also the rescue squad and fire departments, doctors and nurses. And we'll be laying on hands for her asking for healing for them, as well as all they come in contact with, the people that they serve in their jobs, in rescue squads and fire departments and police officers and highway patrol. We also have a globe, and we're going to lay hands on this globe as a representation of our broken world and how we're asking God to heal the brokenness across our globe. As we do this, we're going to hear the, uh, the xylophone playing very softly and slowly, Amazing Grace. And so as you name the, the needs of your hurtings and hear and receive these anointings and this blessing as this bells ring, if one, anyone would like to send us prayer requests for healing, we will take care of those requests at our local churches. So send them to your pastors and then request healing for our world, our community, our leaders our country, our city, and our state. At this time, I ask you to lay hands on those you represent and hear our prayer. Father in heaven, for Jesus' sake, send your Holy Spirit upon your servants. Drive away all sickness of body and spirit Make whole that which is broken. Deliver them from the power of evil. To 
observe them in true faith, to share in the power of Christ's resurrection, and to serve you with all the saints, now and forevermore. Amen. Including, I have a baptismal font up here in our final prayer for all the children who have been baptized as brothers and sisters of Christ and all who have received the touch of healing. Let us pray. Living God, through this anointing, grant comfort in suffering to all who are in need of healing. When they are afraid, give them courage. When afflicted, give them patience. When dejected, give them hope. And when alone, assure them of the support of your holy people. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Receive this blessing. Almighty God, who is strong power to all, to whom all things in heaven and on earth bow and obey, be now and evermore your sure defense, and help you to know that the name given to us for health and salvation is the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Go in peace. Share the gift of Jesus. Thanks be to God.